management of partially absorbed white soft cataract post penetrating injury This is a case of 19 year old female with complaint of loss of vision in her left eye since 2 years Patient had history of trauma to her left eye with an unknown object 2 years back her BCVA in left eye was PL and PR accurate anterior segment examination revealed 30 degree exotropia with 3 mm curvilinear scar in central area with posterior synecdoche and anterior lens capsule fibrosis with partially absorbed traumatic white soft cataract in her left eye extraocular movements were full and free in all cases on b scan lens echoes were noted vitreous showed low reflective dot echoes retina was on optic nerve head and choroid shadows were normal axillary was normal and no intraocular foreign body was detected This video highlights the FICO emulsification of a traumatic partially absorbed cataract and removal of vision hampering plaque complex formed by fusion of ruptured lens capsule and iris tissue. It features reformation of an obliterated sulcus to facilitate the intraocular lens implantation. Through this video, we try to explain how to proceed with an old penetrating injury with a complicated cataract. In this case, there is a ruptured capsule with a partially absorbed traumatic cataract. visually significant capsular plaque fused with iris tissue and an obliterated sulcus we first performed a careful anterior capsular excess sufficient enough to do safe low parameter fico emulsification after removing all cortical matter the central plaque is cut and removed to clear the visual axis while leaving the peripheral rim which is strongly supported by zonules in the end we created a new sulcus by splitting the fused peripheral capsular rim from the posterior surface of the iris and implanted a three piece iwell in such a way that the haptics of the intraocular lens are firmly positioned in the new sulcus corneal incision is made followed by intracameral injection of adrenaline followed by intracameral injection of air and tritam to dye to stain the anterior capsule well which would guide in performing capsular excess and prevent its radial extension Rexus is tried but the fibrosed anterior capsule is adherent to the underlying cortex. Fibrous flap of anterior capsule is removed by giving nix via vana scissor. cataract is soft and is mobilized to check for any adhesions if present using sinski's hook and faco aspirated retained cortical fibers are cleaned up there is a dense central plug to which the posterior pigmented part of iris is adhered these adhesions are broken using vana scissor
After we ensure all adhesions are completely broken, a posterior capsular excess is tried, thereby removing the central dense plaque along with the plugged in posterior pigmented portion of iris. The flap is brought out safely, automated vitrectomy is done. A cyclodialysis patchula is swiped in the ciliary sulcus area to ensure no cyanic are present. A three-piece IOL is injected into anterior chamber. The optic is supported with the IOL dialog through the side port to ensure the leading haptic does not fall posteriorly into the vitreous. The leading and trailing haptics are guided into the sulcus. Retained viscoelastic substance is washed. Intracameral pilocarpine is injected, followed by intracameral moxifloxacin. The rear chamber is formed by hydration of the ports. Follow-up visit post-operatively at week 1, patient had a best-corrected visual activity of 6 by 36 parts in her left eye with 30 degree exotropia, no diplopia, a pre-existing corneal scar, quite AC, stable and well-centered PCL in sulcus and a posterior segment within normal limits. Take-home messages are use low phaco parameter in a case of traumatic cataract after a penetrating ocular injury. A 3 piece IOL can be implanted safely in the artificial sulcus in case of zonular stability and preserved peripheral rim of capsule.